Okay, so in our last video, we managed to get to the stage where when you collect a star as a character, it would record how many stars you've collected, um, but we don't have a way to display it at the moment. So now we're going to go through trying to put a HUD into the game. Okay, so let's go into the code. There's something I want to address that I didn't last time, and it's to do with this. So as you can see, the name here says Platform Sprite, but it should actually say... Um, star sprite, so I'm going to change that now. Just a minor change. Okay, so that should be fine. And the next thing we're going to do is add a new file. So there are two ways we could do this. One way you could we could add the HUD into the level state. Um, but what I'm going to do is create a new file to include the HUD, which will uh, which will make this a bit smaller because at the moment it's, it's getting a bit big and also the HUD can have a lot more things than just the the score of of the collectible so you could have player health you could also have a timer whatever you want so let's just make a new file put HUD hacks and we're going to go ahead and do um, do standard kind of kind of class stuff so class uh, HUD and um, do that for now and what this is going to be is going to be a, a collection, so a group of a group of sprites, because we're going to include the text, which is essentially a, a sprite. So let's do that now. Extends Rex group type uh, type group. This is what I want, and I'm going to do sprites. Cool. Okay. So what we're going to do is now have the score text. The bar score text. Which will be flex text, like so. And what we're going to do is create a create a constructor. So public function new, and this is where all the stuff is going to go. So the reason we haven't gone ahead and overwritten the create um, the create, create methods is because the type group doesn't have a create method. The only things that have a create method are the state, so a flexil state, and anything else that inherits state. So later down the line, we're going to use a substate, and that also has a create that we can override. But as a rule of thumb, only states have uh, create create methods. Nothing else has a create method, so there's no need to write one here. So now we are going to uh, get this variable here. Um, and the reason I haven't made a final here is because I know I'm going to use this again in an outside method. So yeah, do that. So we're going to do a new flex text. And this takes a few parameters and it takes the position. Currently I'm just going to make it all zero. Um, so x, y and field width. And what I'm going to do is put some text in here. So I'm going to say score zero. And we'll leave that as this for now. I think that's all we need. So just double check. Do, 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 do. Yep, that's what we need. Oh, we need size as well. So let's just say the size will be, yeah, let's leave the size as default for now. Um, we're going to then add that score text. And one thing that I'm going to add that isn't going to really make an impact until later on is something called scroll factor. I'm going to set that to 0, 0. So what this line does is basically imagine if our game here was bigger than our screen. So say it was four times, or say twice the size. So we've got this, this here and another kind of 12, 20 here. Um, we would have a camera to follow the player. And if we were to put our HUD text here um, without putting the score factor here, when the camera moves, the text will also disappear um, because it's, it's, it's set to zero, zero. Um, so the camera will move, the text will also move, and that's not what we want. So with the scroll factor here, the text will kind of be set in that position, so no matter where the camera moves, it will always be in that position. Um, it's not useful for this game because we're only using the, the screen at, at the moment, so the whole game is in the size of, of one screen, but if you did ever encounter that issue, you'd need to have this line. Cool. So now that we have that, let us now um, link this file. So let's display this text in the game. Let's link this to here. Um, we are going to we're going to create um, uh, 
add here. So about here, I'd say. Uh, yeah, about here. We're gonna go. We're gonna say a variable called hard, which should be a type hard, um, which is the thing we made here. And um, this hard is going to be added to the game. We'll make a new hard, and we'll add it here. Cool. So now with that saved, when the game builds, we should hopefully see. Oh, it doesn't like what we've done. What's the what's the issue? Super. It's my fault. Okay. So now with that saved, then when when that's done, when we run the game. We should just see uh, score zero in the top left hand corner. There we go, so it's a really small moment. Don't worry, we'll format that later on. So now what we want to do is inc increment this text when the player gets the star. So it's full zero at the moment. So what we're going to do is add a new method. I'm going to call it, uh, actually, yeah, public function increment score uh, increment. There we go. And we are going to say, Variable here called score, which is zero, um, equals zero. So we type inference and that. So that's an int. And we'll say when this method is run, score plus plus, which will increment the score as well as assign it to this method, I mean, this variable. And then we're going to change the text. So once this uh, FLX text has been created, it gives us access to this, um, this variable. Which we can change on the fly, and we are going to say score. Um, actually, let's use single for um, spring interpolation, and we're going to say score now will be this here, so it'll be the score variable. Okay, so now this is done. This isn't exactly going to work until we change this here. So now instead of in incrementing score here, we want to get the HUD which we created here. Let's so grab that. And run increment score. So we no longer need this score variable here. So once we save that and then the game builds, we should. Fingers crossed. Oh, see the score going up. So it's quite small. But the score does increment this time. Alright, so in our next video, of course, we are going to focus on formatting this section, making it bigger, using a different font, um, and moving its position. So that's it. Thanks for watching.